The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award, Mr. <laughs> Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. They're really excited. To, to see they you. sure are. Yeah. God damn, it's the first of the show and the last of my fucking nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already fed up with you and your bullshit. Uh huh. Yeah, great. And also, uh, another excellent stand up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Mr. Derek Alders. <laughs> Woo! I still have not accepted the results of that. Why? Huh? Why? Because there's no way I won that contest. <laughs> yeah, well, they kind of gave it to you. I think so. Jeremy was a judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a little. I was. Insight. I had a. I had an English wig on. Mm -hmm. Robes. Yep. yep. I, I Guilty, he, I said. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Of being just kept, too sexy. He just right. kept banging the gavel in my set. Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I'd start to do a punchline. He'd go, objection. I'm like, you're the judge. You can't object. <laughs> well, I've changed the way that I applaud now, and that's that's how I do it. I don't yeah, clap. I bang a gavel and yell objection. <laughs> <laughs> so I object. Overruled. This joke is too funny. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hearsay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, welcome. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines episode, just Turn so you know. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises, so if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here, thanks, bye. Okay. Wow, we ran through that one pretty good. I didn't fuck it up once. Yes, you did. My oh. whole fucking introduction, you jack off. Oh, you want to do it again? Go back and start over. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I'm Fair enough. Okay. I don't want you to. Uh, the but less I, talking from Scotty, the better. Right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, question, Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I got answers. Uh you were the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year. Right? Absolutely, yes. Who won in 85? Uh, How did you not go back to back? This is, good, this is a good question. Oh, because I was in seventh grade. I moved on to coach. <laughs> oh. oh. Did, you, did you win that defensive or player? Not seventh year? grade, but I was, seventh grade. <laughs> I was seven years <laughs> old. I'm sixth sorry. grader playing T-Ball. <laughs> Fucking dinger! Look who's oh, yeah. now! Well, I got held back a lot. I should have been in seventh grade, man. <laughs> Jesus No so wonder you turned an unassisted triple play. <laughs> Dude, I was out there fucking schooling him. <laughs> he's, he's I didn't fucking... start every game, but the ones I did, I went out there and fucking dominated, man. He's fucking three feet taller oh, than every shit. other fucker on the field. He was the only Cuban on the team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had to fake my birth certificate. Nice. Oh, goodness gracious. Anyways, uh, we've got a very, a very... picture of you that says, <laughs> I am five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was 5'5", five, five, 150 pounds at the time, playing with kindergartners. <laughs> yeah. The Albert Pujols of T-ball. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Uh, but we've got an excellent episode for you. We got some Yeah, sports. and I was roided out, too. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've got some sports to go over. Real shit, uh, horseshit, bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated, questions, preguntas, another draft, <laughs> and as always, my favorite part, a shitty situation. But before we get off to that, <laughs> just fucking see, <laughs> see that going on. Some guys in the stand just going, oh, shit, he's up. Let's heckle him. <laughs> Where are my keys at? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I wasn't the best batter. <laughs> <laughs> I struck out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, that T doesn't raise up near high enough. That's not in my strike zone. Every one of them was a ball. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. They, well, and they knew the bunt was coming. Right. I just wonder, in T-ball, if you stand there long enough without swinging, do you get to walk? <laughs> Absolutely you do. All right. 
Anyways, uh, we like to start off every show talking about what happened to us over the last week, uh, and we call it our week week recap. So, uh, Derek, what what'd you do, dude? We missed you. I did too much baseball. <laughs> There's didn't. no such thing. Oh, uh, this week there was. Okay, I did a lot of baseball, and uh, I got very frustrated. Very frustrated. I won't discuss it, but very frustrated. Yeah. Um, and then uh, last week was a week, though, man. Mm-hmm. I went to uh, Kansas City to watch the – originally to go see Gilbert Godfrey. turns out he's only good live. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. So I went to go so, – so we had canceled it, and I bought Royals tickets. Yeah. And so we went and got the uh, early entry to go into the Royals game. Mm. Um, to watch <clears throat> VP? Yeah. Uh, I got it for seven bucks a ticket to go do that. Really? Yeah. So I was like, "Well, fuck, good this year." And I was trying to basically what I wanted to do is I have a I have a 2016 World Series ball. I want to see if I get Rizzo to sign it. They're playing the Yankees. Mm -hmm. So I beeline for basically the Yankees dugout as soon as we get in, and I'm standing kind of by where the players would enter in the dugout and Uh go down into the clubhouse. Right. And uh, I'm standing right there, and Rizzo was there. He wouldn't even look up. Nobody would really sign. Uh, Josh Donaldson was kind of a dick. Oh. Uh, I yeah. guess people have tried to get his autograph, and he's an asshole about it. And at one point, he's like, somebody's like, will you sign? And he's like, I'll think about it. And so then he goes, and he takes BP, and he's like, did you think about it? I'll sign if Hicks signs. And it, it, He doesn't course. care for the Royals <laughs> much. Well, I don't think he cares for humans. Yeah, me neither. So, yeah. I like him. I like this guy. The only guy that uh, that did sign was uh, Joey Gallo. He signed. Okay. He's, uh, he's an attorney, isn't he? No, it's Callow. That's Jerry oh, Callow. Oh, Jerry. It's, uh, my bad. But so anyway, so it was freezing fucking cold. My wife was bored. The game was pretty boring. Was that the blowout game? It was, it was like a 4 nothing game, 3 oh, nothing okay. game. But the Royals didn't really put much together offensively. Because they got blown out the night before, I know. Was it? Was that the night before? Uh, I think it was like 12-2 or something. Okay. Yeah, it was awful. Ew. So we'd go do that. Uh, we went to uh, what was supposed to be lunch before the game on that Saturday, which turns out was brunch. I didn't know that people did brunch on Saturday, so add that to the whitest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> At an Italian restaurant. So, oh, Yeah, wow. so you could get biscuits and gravy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Pancakes at a fucking Italian restaurant in Kansas City. Well, that's what they call marinara sauce. They yeah. call it Sunday, Sunday they sauce. Call it, they call it gravy. They yeah. call it Sunday gravy. Mm-hmm. That's what they call it. It was Saturday. Damn right. <laughs> so, Well, it will be gravy by Sunday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the time it goes bad. Uh, the two chicks that were sitting next to us, I don't think would shut the fuck up. I think they were talking while they were eating. She, this bitch next to me did not shut the fuck up. <coughs> okay. Did not shut up about her dating life and Tinder and how she was dating this guy, but he was kind of boring, but he spent a lot of money on her. So she, he, she dated him for a while, but was also texting this other guy that was like six, six and was just extremely hot. And that was going okay for a little while. And then she's went on to this guy. I'm like, Oh, oh great. I get to hear all about your whore life. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Men uh, are all dogs. Right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So chances uh, are this bitch's name was Nicole. The main thing that we went up there for, though, was uh, Sunday. I had bought tickets to this Van Gogh exhibit. Vince? At, uh, no. <laughs> Gle- Greg. Greg. Greg Van Gogh. Greg okay. Van Gogh, yeah. Uh, GVG, he, we call him. <laughs> GVG. He, he actually yeah. sewed an extra ear back on his head. <laughs> yeah, he's got three. Yeah. 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 On his forehead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, actually, it's on the back of his head. Oh, so you can't, uh-huh. you can't talk behind his back. Gotcha. But... um. So we went to this exhibit. I bought tickets for this like a year ago. It had been postponed because they didn't have a venue. It's called the Immersive Van Gogh, right? Mm-hmm. That seems like poor planning <laughs> on their part. Right. Yeah. So I could have either got a refund or just kept my tickets for when they had the venue secured. So they have the venue secured. It's in Zona Rosa. I paid 100 bucks a ticket because I bought VIP tickets. Cause I'm like, Are you yeah. calling it that because it was in an Italian restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, I had brunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all they were selling were ears of corn. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Like, like the Italians always do. It's uh, basically a state fair with them all the time. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I go to check in for this thing, and I said, hey, we're about 20 minutes early. Is that all right? They're like, oh, no, that's fine. Oh, you're VIP. Oh, you just just go right around the corner here. There's the VIP check-in over there. I said, okay. So I walk around the corner, and they're like, all right. Oh, VIP. Great. Well, you don't here's your seat cushions because everybody gets seat cushions to sit on and they go here's your seat cushions you don't have to give those back since you're vip you just show them your lanyard with your vip badge 
fucking white privilege <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Jesus right. Christ. Right. Free seat cushions? <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing you paid for them in the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. So uh, I bet they were some hung di- humdingers, oh, too. Oh, they have Van Gogh flower painting on it. It says yes. uh, Van Gogh, immersive Van Gogh is what it says on the thing. Okay. And then uh, I got a Starry Night lanyard because, I mean, I wear lanyards all the time. Of course you do. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, that's what I do. I, I don't even, I just sleep naked with a lanyard on. <laughs> that's how I sure. sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> yeah, one, one around my dick and one around my neck. So I've got this fucking starry night. We walk in, and they go, okay, you feel free to sit anywhere. If you want to sit on the floor, you can sit on the floor. If you want to lay down, feel free to lay down on the floor. And you can stay as long as you want. I said, okay. So it's basically a projection of this Van Gogh works that are they project it on each wall. It's the same thing on each wall. And it's basically about a 35 minute powerpoint presentation Mm -hmm. uh but when you walk in there's giant right before you walk in on the wall there's these giant biographies about the the guy that put the music together the guy that put the show together because that's who you came to see Uh right absolutely and so then the show's over and i'm like all right well there's got to be other shit you know so we walk out and nope there's a gift shop (laughs) i paid a hundred (laughs) bucks for a powerpoint presentation (laughs) A seat cushion and a lanyard. Nice. Please tell me you laid down. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. no. I cannot remember the last time I was in a public place and somebody said it was cool to lay down. On the floor. <laughs> On the floor. Yeah. I'm pretty sure most places will kick you out for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I basically left feeling like I just lost all my rent money at the casino. Sure. That's yeah, what man. it felt like. And that's exactly the review I left. I said I learned more about the people that put on the show than I learned about the actual artist. And uh, somebody underneath goes, hey, where is it at? They comment, and they go, where, where is this at, by the way? I said, well, it's in Zona Rosa. I said, I would suggest, I hope you didn't pay a lot for your tickets. If you have the opportunity to get a refund, I would suggest it. And then underneath that, the show comments and goes, oh, the address is at the lighthouse in Zona Rosa, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I just wrote, nice how that's the comment you respond to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... Zona Rosa, doesn't that mean the pink zone? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, pink zone. So uh, is that why you got VIP? Just showing me your vagina? Yeah. Yeah, show her my back <laughs> pussy. Sure. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah. The only cool thing we did on that whole trip, uh, since we were getting one and Kansas City has one, I wanted to check it out. I went to Shields. Okay. Shields. I don't know what that is. What is this? fucking awesome. That, it sounds very familiar. What is We're it? getting one in Town East. It is like... Cabela on steroids or okay. Cabela's in, okay. on steroids. Like it has everything. Like we, there's a Ferris wheel in the middle of it. Fuck. Yeah. I walked over, uh, we walked straight to the women's section cause I needed to try on some clothes. That's <laughs> right. And, uh, we get done with that and I glance over and there's like a big thing of Salvador Perez. I'm like, Oh, let's mm-hmm. go over to the sports section. So we walk over there and usually you're going to find, I mean, KC, you're going to find KU Royals, maybe a little bit of K state, some right. zoo. You're going to find that stuff. They had everything. Right. I could have bought a uh, Justin Fields Bears jersey. I could have bought a LaMelo Ball Hornets jersey. I mean, they had fucking everything. And then we went upstairs, and they had an entire wing for every sport. Nice. Uh, darts, baseball, billiards. Uh, they had a whole row for all, all seasonings and giant smokers and stuff. Mm-hmm. They had fucking alligator jerky. I mean, they had fucking everything. We went to check out, and I instead of buying candy in the checkout aisle, I bought queso. Like it, it was fucking Fuck yeah. unreal. Just start eating it. Absolutely, <laughs> dipping your hands in. Yeah, uh, I, u- I used the darts I bought. I just remember where I know that from. Uh, comedian Dan Cummins has a wonderful bit about Shields. Does he? Well, yep. it's a fantastic place. So we did that, and that was really fucking cool. Okay. Awesome, good th- good stuff. Uh, my week sucked. So, uh, Woo! yeah, yeah, it was, uh, what's a, what's God a, is real. I yeah. pray to that every, every day. I'm like, yeah. mm, yep. Please make Scotty's day suck. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I, I got Don't to kill him, make <laughs> him suffer. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, kill him. Right. I got to uh, go see a couple wind surge games. That was pretty fun. I got to hear Derek. Derek did a great job as usual. <laughs> that must've been the one good one I did. Yeah. Um, the, <clears throat> the other thing was, is I was talking to Steve after the show, uh, from last week, I don't know if you if you guys uh, didn't get a chance to watch the la- last week. Definitely do it. It was hilarious. Uh, but the best part was Steve um, tried to quit his job. And yeah. they talked him into. They wouldn't not, let him. They quit. Wouldn't, wouldn't let him quit. What? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, he works for the post office now. Yeah. yeah uh, and they no. yelled at him for doing a bad job. Apparently, he sucks as a male postal employee. Yeah. So he was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and quit. And they're like, no, you can't quit. We need you. Yeah. Uh, they wouldn't let him quit. Fun, funny story. He said he's he uh, he's employed there. No, he is not. He is officially not employed there Did anymore. he get fired? <laughs> no, he actually quit. <laughs> He called and told me that. I was laughing my fucking dick off. I, I couldn't stop That's, laughing. You can't do that. We need you. <laughs> can too. <laughs> Watch me. Watch me do it. Yeah, so update. Uh, Steve ended up quitting, so there, that's fun. Um, but the other thing is, is I just can't get enough of this goddamn Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. I, I know it's. Watched any oh, of my it. God. The highlights are fucking awesome. Amber Heard took the trial or took the stand the last couple of days. That bitch is lying through her fucking she teeth. She is so obviously oh. full of shit, and she has hired the most incompetent <laughs> attorneys known to man. I wouldn't say she's full of shit. I think some of it's on Johnny Depp's bed. Uh, that's true. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. for yeah, sure. She vacated and then uh, came back. She's trying to tell, uh, like, recollect what, ha- what happened on particular nights, and if you go back and actually act out what she's saying, it is unbelievable like she's sitting at the end of the bed and she's sitting on the floor and all she can fucking like think about is how dirty this floor is and she goes into all the fucking details of it and you're just like what the fuck is this bitch saying well then pick up a broom no shit that's your job (laughs) get a fucking vacuum and start going to work i did see a little bit of it a little bit of it on tiktok and i did see one spot where she said something and fucking johnny depp's lawyer in the background like yeah yeah yeah. basically we got her yeah because they they're allowed that now that she it was inadmissible evidence but since she discussed it on the stand now they can use it as evidence and it's bringing in his uh ex-wife i believe uh they she dropped her name and it's like now we can put her up on the stand and ask her if anything that she said was accurate so nice well i've been seeing these comparison videos where she told the story back in 2016 Mm -hmm. and her demeanor then compared to her demeanor now she was fine back then now she's all emotional about it right yeah, she's so full of shit. Not only that, it's basically just pointing out how shitty of an actress she really is. Is it costing her work, too? Does she get oh, like, kicked she, off of Aquaman or oh, whatever? She's, it's, it's getting ready to happen. She's apparently already... They've already filmed it. Aquaman 2? Yeah. Oh, they may scrap no. that and do it all over again or find a way to cut her out as much as possible. But she's been paid for it, so she's not going to get hurt. But that may be her last acting work for a long time yeah and i think she might get some local car commercials or something (laughs) (laughs) i think if they release it with her in it nobody's gonna go watch that shit i think it'll bring that movie down but anyways that's my week i that's it that's all i got so uh jeremy you go for how much you like shitting so we put a toilet in the back seat (laughs) church (laughs) (laughs) all right all right uh, let's see. On uh, Thursday, <laughs> I went and uh, went to the movies with my wife. We saw Doctor Strange. Mm. <sighs> you didn't like it. I didn't. I didn't not like it. I but it's it's such a fucking weird, convoluted plot line that you really can't follow it and doesn't have much continuity to it. It can't be as bad um, as Tenet. It's about that complex. What? Yeah, it's what? fucking. It, they're just. There, there are basically no more rules anymore. And nice. so it's fucking gotten weird. The most disappointing thing about it, though, was they had an extended trailer for the new Top Gun movie, which I've been looking forward to for a while now. Mm-hmm. It's going to suck shit. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Duh. I mean, it's everything Miles Teller's in sucks, right. number one. But yeah, I'm more of a pen guy. Yeah. There is absolutely yeah yeah he's he's taken over that's that's Teller's kid. <laughs> he talks a lot more. It's not going to work, <laughs> and he sucks at magic. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> he just makes a jet disappear. Yeah, You're like really? That's the fucking ending. There, there's a scene in there where Tom Cruise is talking. He's a Top Gun instructor now, and he's talking to him. This is going to be the hardest mission of your life. You're going to test the limits of your aircraft. You're gonna, we're going to test the limits of your, your physical body. You're going to feel like your skull's being crushed, like your lungs are being crushed. You're going to struggle to breathe at such high G-forces. Yeah, these are well-established naval aviators. They learn this in flight school. <laughs> they don't need to be told this. You're teaching them air-to-air combat. That's what you're doing. You're just telling the fucking audience what this is. <laughs> and it's movies that do that fucking <coughs> suck. Um, I bought a, uh, got a new, started playing a new PS5 game. Oh. Uh, Death Stranding. I don't know what that is. 
it's not good. I'll okay. tell you that. That's what it is. <laughs> right. It's fucking weird. Uh, you're in this weird dystopian world where there's like evil spirits everywhere, and you are a courier that has to backpack shit across rough terrain, and most of the game is you just trying to keep your balance. Well, that would Hitting- be a terrible game for Steve. He's a shitty courier. Yeah, right? he is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder where's the quit button on here. <laughs> then it's, you try to quit. It says you can't quit you, right nope. now. Yeah, like, too fucking we, bad. We need you to keep playing. I'm just gonna stop coming into work. <laughs> but no, it's it's Norman Reedus who okay. uh, he's he in the in, Walking Dead. He's in Boondock Saints. Wasn't yes. He? Yeah. Oh, okay, I know exactly what yes. game you're talking about. Yeah. Now. He's got this weird fucking baby in a pod that yeah. detects these evil spirits, and then uh, it's got. Um, Mads Mickelson, who was uh, uh, Grindelwald in uh-huh. this last okay. movie, uh, last Fantastic Beast movie. Um, it's actually got some big names. Apparently, they were originally making a new uh, Silent Hill movie. Oh, and they decided it's too fucked up. But they had these guys under contract, so we needed to record something. This I got the director's cut <laughs> of maybe the dumbest fucking game ever to exist. It's fucking moronic, and I have no idea what's going on. But I'm such a stubborn prick, and I paid 50 bucks for this fucking thing. So I'm going to finish it out. I'm going to see it through. But it's fucking stupid. Boy, that guy that uh, played Grindelwald, could he not make a perfect Hitler? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, he, he played uh, in the... NBC series, he played Hannibal Lecter. He'd be a great Hitler Lecter. And he, he's, he plays a fucking psycho really good. He is just so calm, demeanored, just like a fucking psychopath all the time. Um, anyways, uh, watch the finale of Winning Time, which had have me... have not yet. It had me a little disappointed until I got some wonderful news that it's been picked up for season two. Good. I, I thought it was just a limited run deal, but no, apparently it's going to be around next season. Sweet. Because um, they did not address some issues that they started off in the first episode addressing. Well, I'm going to watch uh, it when I get home. So, Spoiler alert, Magic Johnson gets HIV. <laughs> Damn uh, it. Yep. Fuck! Well, now I'm not going to watch it. Jesus. And now, hang on a second, got to get to the highlight of my week. Okay. All right. Chug beer. Lay it that, down. That's not the highlight of my week. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All hey, right. H- how you doing, Derek? You doing okay? Yeah, you guys talk yeah, amongst yourselves while I great. work here. Did you get a new fucking dick blower? No. no Looks it's like it. Yeah, it's All right. All right. All right, what do you got, Jeremy? So <clears throat> last week I'm at work. I had a, uh, a meeting with an engineer in his office about some uh, potential issues. And uh, I'm coming back to my shop from his office, and I'm walking down the aisle. Great big fucking you know, aisleways that they have for forklifts and shit that can get down there is about the same width of a street. But I notice I'm about 25, 30 feet away, and I see something on the floor in the aisleway. And here, as I keep walking to it, here's the conversation that I have in my mind. That looks like, no, that couldn't be. Is that... Well, it might be. No way. Yep, that's a turd. <laughs> Is Amber Heard buying a jet? Did they give her a tour of the place? Or? N- no, I can, I can tell you 100% that's not what happened. Okay. Um, do you know how hard it is to keep a straight face and go to your boss and tell him, um, there's a turd in the walkway? <laughs> It is Espe- all but impossible. <laughs> Especially when you did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone shit in the walkway. Yeah. Jeremy, we have you on video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting to that. <laughs> Trust me. This, this goes places. <laughs> um, so, anyways, uh, I didn't realize what I was potentially doing. Had I... Had I known what this was going to start, <laughs> I would have not said anything. <laughs> oh, please tell me it's like shit gate. <laughs> oh, all fucking hell broke loose. <laughs> uh, oh, God. For those who don't know, I am an aircraft mechanic. I, I build commercial aircraft for a living. I won't say what company for. But um, so basically my entire building is uh, an, an FAA secured building. So we have all kinds of government regulations and with this uh turd in the the aisleway 
Uh, we are out of compliance now on our hazardous waste disposal. <laughs> And because I'm the one who's reported it, I have to be involved every step of the way. My boss oh, has this big, I'm not kidding you, six inch thick binder of emergency situation protocols. And there is a section in there for feces in common areas. Which means that this has happened before. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> we had to tape off a 25 foot radius perimeter around this to be in compliance I just with like, biohazard tape. I just like to picture. Like, in that guy's office, there's a wall of photos with red yarn going from, like, trying to connect the dots. It might as well have been. <laughs> Once we made the perimeter, we had to have people stationed on all four sides in bright orange vests to redirect any foot or vehicle traffic that may come through. Move along, nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Park's closed. <laughs> Moose out front should have told you. Yeah. <coughs> um, my boss then has to place a work order that, because I'm the one who reported it, I get a copy of said work order. But I can't take it out of the place. It's just for my personal <clears throat> records. Um, because we are under contract with a janitorial company, anything in the common areas, we're not allowed to actually do any of the cleaning because that takes... <laughs> work away from them so we have to wait on them to come <laughs> clean this up uh, so i get a copy of the work order and here's uh hazardous material cleanup uh <laughs> this is the way he worded it under the comments in the walkway a poop <laughs> A singular poop. <laughs> poop. <laughs> <laughs> this is, so this this woman from the uh, custodial company comes like she's done this a thousand fucking times before. Picks up the poop. <laughs> barehanded. But, barehanded. No, she's got big ass fucking gloves on. But no, like, hazmat suit or anything like that. Because you would think that it was fucking plutonium oh, God. that we've found. Uh, it was just a poop. It wasn't even <laughs> smelling at this point. So, anyway, she comes in and picks it up and puts it in a trash bag. And then sprays down all kinds of fucking disinfectant and wipes up the whole fucking area. Not phased a bit. She didn't even, she wasn't even like, oh, God. It was like, well, same shit, different day. <laughs> Literally. Literally, same shit. No, different shit. <laughs> Maybe same day. I don't know. But so anyhow, um, then there's a full-blown investigation into this because somebody violated <laughs> our hazardous waste disposal they're considering it sabotage at oh. this point because literally we can be audited by any number of 20 different government entities including fucking epa could have gotten involved in this had we been <laughs> oh i audited. wish that would have happened oh my God. I, no this would have been real bad had <laughs> had we not followed all the proper steps so anyways this investigation they want to identify who did it and there is security cameras all over the place out there but we only get a view of the back of the guy. So they show me the video. Here's what happened. <laughs> Dude is walking down the aisle. He's wearing a t-shirt, a ball cap, and like cargo shorts. And you see him walk down the aisle. He's got his hand in his pocket. And then you just see him kind of like shake his leg and his shorts and it just <laughs> <laughs> So he had apparently shit in his pants. <laughs> Oh, my God. Dropped it out of his fucking leg and walked off like nothing ever fucking happened. Oh, Jesus. And it was, I, and, and they're like, can you, can you identify who this is? Which is 
it's weird because while I do work in a building with several hundred other people, I go there every day. So by now I can usually spot just about anybody who's supposed to be there, but it's not uncommon for people from other buildings to come through the sure. area. And, and I'm like, no, I have no idea. But to be honest with you, even if I could, I don't think I would. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of admire the guy a little bit. But yeah, so uh, oh. that happened to me last week. Jesus fucking Christ. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? How do you, sh even if you're wearing cargo shorts, you can't be wearing underwear underneath there. I would the think not. No, you're, you're I, believe me, if they ever identify this guy, I got questions. <laughs> right? Oh, the funny. logistics of this is uh. fucking beyond me, but it is so very clear. It's black and white, but it's high definition black and white. You see it come out the <laughs> bottom of his fucking shorts. There's not a doubt in the world that that is human poop. A, a poop. <laughs> That's what I love. Oh, jeez. Well, a poop. You know we had a... We're going to give that guy a hell of yeah. a round of applause for this. Holy that guy made shit. my week. Yeah. You know what we had. My a, wife might still be laughing <laughs> after I told her about it. You know we had double headers, you know, all week. Oh, yeah. Because it rained out uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yes. Uh, the create the fun thing though was on Thursday, I took a tour of an aircraft facility. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, well, you got to learn to hold it for a long time, but there's just so much a guy can take. <laughs> Oh, you shit. see enough propellers, you start getting excited. Something yeah. about a fuselage just makes me runny. <laughs> I, I think he was just trying to get out of something, is I think what the whole point was. Yeah, he wanted to leave work. <laughs> he wanted to leave work. Dude, I would <laughs> fucking jump in my car as fast as I could, get the fuck out of there, text my boss something. I wouldn't tell him that that's what happened. But uh, it'd be funny if he did I, the old chewing gum trick. You know, like whenever you were a kid, and you'd spit your oh. gum out and try and kick it. Yeah, <laughs> he just like tried to back. He said, "Back it." The corn really held it yeah. together. Oh my god! Oh fuck! <laughs> ah man! Somebody literally <laughs> bought him some peanuts and cracker jacks. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh. Uh, for being the guy that's actually admitted to shitting himself on this uh, on this podcast. Here's the thing. The guy would be in absolutely no danger whatsoever had he just gone and, and told, told somebody the, a manager or just somebody. But instead, he chose to <laughs> leave it, which then is sabotaging us for a potential uh, government audit. All right. Well, I think he should and, just went with the old defense finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And, and the company that I, that I work for, well, that's, that's kind of why I have to be involved in the process along with my union steward. So they don't try to hang it on me. Oh man. But, uh, and it's very clear. This man was very slender. It wasn't me. <laughs> I, I'm shaggy on this. Nice. Wasn't me. <laughs> what, what, me? <laughs> Oh Jesus! This is best. This is the best. I thing. thought you meant the other kind trying to investigate the old man who left the poop, yeah. <laughs> like so like scoop who yeah. pooped in the aircraft facility. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Phantom, <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. <laughs> this is the guy who lost his aircraft facility in a bank repossession, <laughs> trying to get it back. Uh, Ruby, Ruby. <laughs> Why go. did those uh, old men always want to protect those abandoned amusement parks? No idea. What the fuck were they gonna do with it? Uh, oh my! Oh, like it's Old Lady Amber from the Aquaman movie. <laughs> 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 fuck yes, that's best. Shaggy, thing. Thelma, we gotta really <laughs> stick our noses in this one. <laughs> Someone's had a lot of Scooby snacks. That's right. Somebody really <laughs> stepped in it this time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and that's the thing. I it is it weird that my radar could detect that from 25, 30 feet away? <laughs> that was the first thought. That looks like a turd. A poop, Jeremy. A poop. It's a, poop. It's a singular that, poop. That looks like a poop. <laughs> and it, it landed and stood like upright. <laughs> So like the top was the mushed, fucking, he stuck mushed the in. landing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like he, a javelin. He should have just went quietly back, got a little Santa hat, walked back over, put it on. Uh -huh. Mr. Hanky. Oh, uh, somebody Jeremy somebody walks by and just it. goes, Howdy ho. Somebody who saw it after me apparently put a paper bag over it. 
<laughs> Did they but, try to set it on fire? <clears throat> not, not wrong direction. Oh, God. They, they just said it like, hey, don't walk here. <laughs> But they didn't tell anybody about it. I got the Good Samaritan Award for <laughs> no, that. Now for I you. I have to be involved in whatever. <laughs> it would not surprise me because I work for a very large and wealthy company <laughs> if they didn't do DNA on it because they're pissed Yeah, and shitted. I, and, like, I like to think the guy that put the paper bag on it wrote, caution, a poop. <laughs> <laughs> and and here's the funny thing about it is like... <laughs> this every, whole fucking by, thing is funny, Jeremy. By the, by the time that... You know, it got cleaned up. Everybody in the shop knew about it. People were standing around coming to take a gander at it and shit. But it's like, even to this day, it's been half a week later, and it's been all cleaned up and disinfected. And as people are, like, walking out at quitting time, they'll walk around <laughs> that spot. Nobody will step there. There's a like chalk outline a of line. a turd. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's something with this. Uh, there's a vortex here <laughs> that just makes people shit. <laughs> <laughs> Something that just sucks it right out, oh, <laughs> right man. out your jeans. There's gonna be old old tales like, oh well, you remember that one time James stepped right where it was, <laughs> and then he got his hand cut yeah. off. Right, that's the cursed poop spot. Right, dude but, didn't even look back. Well, that it's it, like this is a once a week th occurrence for him. Yeah, just <laughs> nailed it. <and> walk, <laughs> yeah, but there's audio. I hope that's in it. Uh, nailed not. it and walks off. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> Out of, out of everything that we know, we know this guy definitely keeps a clean downstairs. Because No, he doesn't. He <laughs> smears it around his shorts. Don't be like this fucking guy. <laughs> I just figured you'd get dingleberries if you tried to shit Could you pants. imagine uh, our sponsor trying to make that smell good down there? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Guys, crotch smells like a continual shit factory. <laughs> But anyways, just want to give a, a special thank you to our sponsor for this show, Manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help you keep your downstairs clean. Yeah, Apparently not your, this guy. Shave your bush, turn it to mulch. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. I mean, he huh. may be smooth down there, but it's not clean. <laughs> right. And if it's not clean, they have products to make it smell cleaner than it is. And they have uh, excellent products <laughs> like the ball toner. No shit on your balls. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I 100% I, I stand behind Manscaped and their product and the fact that they can keep your balls deodorized and all this and that, but yeah. they ain't that good. <laughs> I, 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 th this is not what they were intended for. This no. guy, I guarantee you, has a <clears throat> fucking bush like a fucking bush. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but for guys like us who are completely normal human beings, we like to keep our downstairs groomed. And that's why Manscaped.com makes excellent products to help you do that, like the Lawnmower 4.0, which is the updated design with an adjustable LED light, including a docking station, so you can put mm -hmm. it on your, your bathroom counter to let your girlfriends that come over know, hey, I trim my shit. Yeah. And that's a plus. Um, but anyways, they also have things like the uh, uh, ball deodorant and the ball toner. Those are excellent products to help it smell nice and nice and delicious down there. Uh, and so guys like delicious, <laughs> delicious. Is that pie? <laughs> no, that's my ball cream. <laughs> it smells like pie. <laughs> but that's I bet it's, I bet it's delicious. <laughs> that, Take a taste. Yeah, mm. that's Let me why. Cut you off a slice. Turn out. Pineapple upside down, kid. <laughs> right. That's how Derek and myself don't, uh, whenever we scratch our nuts, we don't have to sniff our hands and fingers. You don't have to. Nobody <laughs> we, has to. You just do to. it. We don't want to uh, because we know it already smells awesome down there. Delicious. I just, I just tea bag and, pie. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do? Mm -hmm. yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. 3.14 times a day. Nice. Uh, but they have. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I get it. Got him. I get math. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, but no, they have other <laughs> products as well to help keep uh, manly grooming things. Um, so That's how you can figure out the actual circumference of that <laughs> perimeter <laughs> that we taped off. That's right. It uses pi. Uh, pi sure. times, uh, what is that, radius squared? <laughs> yep, right. well, that's, squared. that's area, how you figure area. Oh, whatever. That's same thing. Uh, is it pi times diameter is how you get the circumference? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know, Jeremy. <laughs> 
But anyways, check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES, get 20% off your order and free shipping. Shipping that helps us out, helps you out, and it lets Manscaped know that we see, or we talk about these uh, commercials word for we word. We sure do. Especially this guy <clears throat> that's shitting on the fucking floor. Yeah, don't be like this guy. Yeah, that was their read that they uh, sent out to us for this episode. The unipooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Don't good. be like him. <laughs> He's going to start mailing out packages mm-hmm. of poop. I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Now Steve doesn't have to do it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but There's no out. real point in it. <laughs> check Steve's my out. delivery guy. Right. Mm-hmm. Check them out at manscaped.com. You know, uh, uh, oh, God. I am a fat piece of shit. And I just remembered when I was at the Royals game, uh, I tried their Dare to Pair sandwich. Oh, did you? Yes. How you was know what that? Is? No. What, what is this? It is a pulled pork sandwich. Fair okay. enough. With sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Okay. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Crumbled bacon mm-hmm. uh-huh. and Reese's peanut butter cups. Nope. That that no. What the fuck? On the side? On the sandwich. What the fuck for? You dare to do it. I ate it. It was not and there were pickles. It uh, was uh, not bad. Okay, but it wasn't uh, good. Uh, I, I guess no, so it, it all gets good. it all gets mixed together, but if I had my choice of pulled pork sandwiches to eat. I would get it without the peanut butter cups. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm more of an or almond on the joy side. guy. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Got to get that that coconut flavor in there. Make it taste like the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like that's a Hawaiian yeah, that's pulled what, pork sandwich. Right. Oh, Jesus. All right. No, that would be the pineapple. Right. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me there were like sliced pears on it. No. No, that's disgusting. It was Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> of all the fruits I tolerate, pears are probably... Yeah, the the biggest one. Yeah. and and JP. Yeah, um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> All right. Well, we do got some sports to go over. Uh, believe it or not, we don't have to. Not, not a bunch. I mean, we can't. We can. Uh, but I mean, you let's just go. Okay. Yeah. I think just, that, that we're not yeah, topping the poop story. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no shit. Keep laughing, assholes. Right. That's right. I uh, did get to watch the uh, UFC fight over the weekend. Uh, wait, yeah. wait a minute. Hang on. You, you think what? that that guy was listening to our podcast and so busy laughing he couldn't control himself? <laughs> yeah. I like to think that he was listening to the episode about shitting yourself and going home. I bet yeah. he was listening to Trill Sports. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, They're funny. Yeah, that's They're cool. funny, guys. Uh, but anyways, uh, over the weekend, UFC, uh, <coughs> there was a pay-per-view that was out. Michael Chandler KO'd Tony Ferguson by a front kick to the face. Did you see that shit? I actually did see that one. Oh, well, I didn't, but I did. Okay. That that round started, and I blinked. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit. And that was the end of the fight. Yep. That is rare. Yeah. For a professional fighter to not see a front kick coming. I saw Anderson Silva do it to a guy one time. Vitor Belfort. That was no Anderson what did you call Silva. Me? No, Anderson Silva knocked out Vitor Belfort with a front kick to the face. I, I saw him do it to a guy once. <laughs> That's bad. And, but yeah, but yeah it's, uh, it's like the front kick is the most rudimentary of all martial arts kicks. It was the first thing we learned in Taekwondo. Yeah. And um, yeah, the idea that a professional fighter would not see that coming... I mean, it's generally just used to like <clears throat> put distance uh, apparently between you uh, and the other guy. Daniel, but yeah, if it connects, it's you can really fuck somebody up. With yeah, it. Daniel son, Daniel son. That's how he won. That was a jumping front kick. That's oh. only different. If do right, no can defend. I got it's you. A crane kick. <laughs> oh, that's crane kick. That's right. I well, forgot. that's a, you got to put your hands you up like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. right. Uh, that's anyways. how that guy shit him, shit his pants. <laughs> <Yeah. He> was, <laughs> and that's what you saw in video. That's why? Yeah, he was crane kicking. Uh, yeah, actually, he was up on a stump. Yeah, right. Keeping his balance. Right. I actually didn't get to watch that. I was watching the Canelo fight. Oh yeah. Uh, so I yeah, watched. Yeah, yeah. I watched the Chandler one, and then I switched over to Canelo because Canelo okay. was getting ready to start. And holy shit! He I love lo- his oil. He lost. Wow. You ever get Canelo was, oil? Yeah, yeah. Canelo is very fried, good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like to eat Canelo's at the after I get done eating Italian food. Uh-huh. Do you know why they call it uh, canola oil? No, uh, it's kind of a marketing thing because they don't want to go with what it actually is. You know what the actual name of canola oil is? Uh-uh. Rape seed oil. Oh, really? <laughs> that's, that's the the seed that canola oil comes from. Oh. The rape seed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, rape. Well, that, <laughs> who who named that seed and didn't go? This is a mistake. <laughs> this well, we're never going to get people with this. Yeah, well, you know that's the vegetable. That's the fruit your parents force feed you as a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, break all of this. <laughs> Eat your rape seeds. You're not getting Take up em. from the table till you finish your rape. Yeah. Shove them down your throat. Yep, rapey. 
you know? But, yeah, so I watched, yeah, I watched, yeah, so uh, uh-huh. watched that Canelo fight. That was his first loss in nine years. And that's crazy. But Had he had a loss before? Once to Floyd Mayweather in 2013. Okay. But so he, he stepped up in weight and fought uh, Bevel, Dimitri Bevel, and Bevel pretty well dominated him the whole fight. He looked visibly pissed at one point. Uh, Canelo had picked that guy up on his shoulders in a boxing match. That's... He, I thought is that he a clinch? Was, is that considered a clinch? I, I yeah. thought he was going to fucking drop him. I thought he was legit that frustrated. He was up on one shoulder, and he was walking around like he was contemplating it and then fucking put him down. It's like Rocky IV. <laughs> yeah. Rocky picks up Drago and throws him to the ground like a ragdoll. <laughs> it's a steel chair. Yeah. <laughs> By God, he killed him. <laughs> Did they have a cage around the ring? They should have. They should yeah, they should have. have. Maybe they should have. <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, there's another thing. Obviously, you got the NBA playoffs going on right now, which I don't really watch a lot of. But Chris Paul was visibly upset after a fan harassed and physically contacted his family during the Phoenix Suns-Dallas Mavericks game. What do you mean contacted them? Like texted them? Like pushed at them, I guess is what, what they're saying. Oh, at the game. At the game. We've okay. been trying to reach you about your car's <laughs> extended <laughs> warranty. Yeah. yeah. Do you have mesothelioma? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. I'm across the stadium. <laughs> Started to contact you. Yeah, do, do you do you think some of these players are like legitimately have a good gripe with certain fans, He's, or do you think they're being childish? Oh, somebody touches my family, I'm gonna fuck them up. Yeah, sure. He's like, hey, Mrs. Paul, <laughs> where are your keys at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm busy shaking the turd out of her fucking shorts. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I mean, if, if she's if they made physical contact, I mean, there should be, I would think around players' families, some form of security that should have stopped that before it started. Oh, yeah, totally. They, they were immediately uh, kicked out of the game. Yeah, you can't, you can't go up and yeah. touch people. But, like, what if they didn't touch them? What if they just said something kind of sassy? Uh, I like to think in a, in a sports venue when you're sitting at your seat that there's a, a respected bubble. Wah, shit. <laughs> Well, it went the right way. <laughs> you might want to yeah. clean your phone off. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it smells like it smells way better than because normally I just shit my pants and, <laughs> and that's that's what it goes through. Yeah. Uh, Shake it off. Yeah. Scotty, what do you got? I'm, I don't want to take my shirt off. Uh, don't worry about it. All I'm, right. I'll get fair I'll get, enough. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I think he wants you to take your shirt off. Yeah, I don't want. I do want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, no, just don't go worry about it. Just take it. Strip it yeah, down. Yeah. Actually, if you want to, we've had this towel. No, with a w. We're a w towels just fine where it is. Okay. The other thing is, is that there's some uh, some Kleenexes over there. There's so a wind really, surge pennant you can use. That's true. Uh, but anyways, this yeah, doesn't seem near thick enough for Kleenex to pick up, but because sh- I've wiped things up with Kleenex before. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's got a whole wastebasket full of it. Uh, right. Exactly. What do you think, Derek? Do you think these these players now are just getting kind of? I don't know. If they physically assaulted her or something yeah, like that, beat the shit out of them. If then you, yeah. If they push her, yeah. they shove her, or they throw shit at her. Yeah. But if if they're saying shit. Eh. Then they're saying shit. Yeah. Now I can understand if you're using foul language and you've got kids around, you're not actually supposed to do that. Threatening, threatening, yeah, threatening. or even using foul language. Now if you're saying like where are your keys at, yeah, that's all right. That's fine. Because honestly, where are your keys? At? <laughs> right. You got it. Do you know? <laughs> it's eight o'clock. Do you know where your fucking keys are at? You're gonna have to get back home sometime. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, there, there, was, there was that that happened. Uh, next thing I wanted to point out, guys, I dare I say, I'm, my mind has maybe been changed on something. Uh, over the week, over this last week, Marcelo Zuna gets struck out on three straight balls that were called strikes. I, uh, I, I'm obviously I do another podcast with somebody in minor league baseball, mm-hmm. Tim Grubbs, and we were discussing on that show. But it sounds like a lot of the players are actually wanting to go with this automated automatic balls and strikes system. I think everybody but pitchers. Uh, right. Yeah. But the players feel like, and in this particular case, they've got some evidence. Like, do you think it would be a good idea to go to that? I mean, the umpire still has to be there. He actually has to call the, what he plays know, at the plate and shit. Yeah. 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 Well, or if that goes down, you have to be there to call. To too. call the strike and the ball. Yeah, exactly. So... <clears throat> What do you think? If players are getting cheated like this, do you think they've got a point and need to move to something like that? Well, I don't know if you're wanting to discuss this now or later, but this is probably not the most egregious thing that happened with an umpire oh, this no. week. Oh, yeah. There definitely was some uh, some other shit 
but I did see where the umpire had what was it the first base guy got four calls wrong at first base two for each team mm-hmm. all overturned yeah not that I know what you're talking about Jeremy answer this question then I'll get to that well I think it all falls under the okay, same, or do, or same do. umbrella it's yeah. Right now, the the MLB seems to because I've always been very complimentary of officials yeah. and and how how they tend to I, I mean really how they tend to get most shit right most of the time. But here I'm going to say in the last four or five years, things have really gotten out of hand. They're fucking they're they're basically showing that they're incompetent now. Yeah. What are you snickering about? I just glanced over at Jeremy's paper where he wanted to talk about his weekend. (laughs) It says, Dr. Strange Death Stranding Winning Time Poop. (laughs) Those are my notes. Those are his new bands. (laughs) Dr. Strange Death Stranding Winning Time Poop. Those are not my new bands. My newest band is Cobra Finger. They're opening up for Morris Chode. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry uh, interrupting you, Jeremy. Go ahead and continue. <laughs> I was sorry. done. Okay. I didn't even hear what he said. I was just laughing too hard. <laughs> okay. the, the, it's, it's getting almost like the umpires are wanting this shit to happen. Yeah. And, <clears throat> or they think they're like above the fucking law. I and agree. It's, it's getting ridiculous. And what you were talking about was how one of the uh, officials was checking Madison Bumgarner's hand. No, he wasn't. He was checking Madison Bumgarner. (laughs) Yeah. He acted like he was touching his hand, but he was Mm -hmm. just staring him down the entire fucking time. And he wasn't going to stop until Bumgarner said something. It said something, and then ejected Bumgarner right afterwards. Mm -hmm. And that is... That, that, I don't think that umpire is going to be employed much longer, and unless he's already. I think he may have been suspended, but he needs to get fucking fired because that shit is it, not cool. It was in the first fucking inning. Bumgarner hadn't said anything, at least in that game, or done anything to deserve that. And you got to realize how much that fucks up a team when your starter goes out in the first fucking inning. Did they win the game or lose? I don't, I, don't, I don't know, but I mean that fucks up your bullpen for the rest of the series, next few games, because now you got to start bringing in relievers who were not warmed up, and yeah, they get all the time they want to warm up, but they have to warm up in front of the crowd. Mm-hmm. You're gonna even the home crowd's gonna start booing you after a while if they go through the full routine that they normally do. So I mean, it, it just really fucks over a team, and it really just seems like that umpire had a some sort of a personal vendetta. I don't know if yeah. But it doesn't sound like there's history between him and Bumgarner. I think it, he just like wanted to come out there and thump his chest and show everybody he's in charge yeah. and he controls the outcome of the game. Dan the, Bellino was the, yep. the umpire. The only thing that I do know that <clears throat> Madison kind of did was he, he pre-walked off the mound after he thought a, a third strike for the third out. That was the only thing he kind of did. Right. But then he went right back up, and then he ended up fucking getting him out anyway, so... Fuck yeah, it, I, you know. Well, I mean, Bumgarner's the kind of guy who goes out there with a fucking attitude, anyway. Right. That's that's how he wins games. He's he's fucking tough. Yeah. He did issue a public apology for what it's worth. Who, Bumgarner or the no uh, Bellino? Um, oh, fuck the uh, umpire. I could give a shit. <clears throat> so fuck him. Uh, but speaking of uh, rule changes, there was one that uh, Derek and myself were very, very much against. However, do you, don't you think yeah. Bumgarner probably liked that hand massage that he yeah, got? Yeah, probably. That had felt, to feel nice. Felt probably pretty good. Um, but yeah, um, next thing I wanted to talk about was, like I was saying, something that Derek and myself, and maybe Jeremy, I don't remember, um, we were really upset with this uh, whenever baseball stadiums started to have the uh, the netting that uh, that uh, surround the entire field to keep people you know safe yeah smack and, a fan that's what i like right um during a wind surge game over the last week oh uh, yeah it made fucking espn's did it really yes it did one of our pitchers ended up striking out a uh, right-handed batter andy pajes and andy pajes uh lost the, the grip on his bat and it went up into the fucking netting getting caught and it was probably what what do you say 15 20 feet up there you would have needed a lad and they got it down i heard with an a-frame ladder yes on top of the dugout with a pole with a string around it like a, like an alligator catcher or some shit you know the guy that got that bat down and he said it took about an hour yeah mm-hmm 
Yeah. No, no fucking shit. This thing was stuck. And it was like in like, what, the sixth or seventh inning? So, I can't remember then. So but. They, they, they played the rest of the game with that bat just fucking hanging there in the netting. Yeah. So does this maybe change? I mean, if that bat went flying, <clears throat> it may Some have, lucky fan got a souvenir. Exactly. That took a souvenir <laughs> away from a lucky fan. Yeah. My, uh, my, my view of this hasn't changed. I want the bat. Even if it hits a kid, you get the bat. That's the rule. So uh, that's my point. How about you? How about you, Jeremy? Do you have an opinion on this? Uh, you know, I, while I don't necessarily like the Nets, I've always understood the the need for them because uh, baseball teams owners and the state whoever owns the stadium we're going to get the shit suit out of them before yeah, too long. This I mean, is true. Uh, it, it it really <clears throat> was a a matter of of safety and it, and 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 my whole thing with it the the defense that i have for it is whenever a player does this and hits a fan or hits a foul ball and it hits a fan it fucks the player up mm -hmm. and that's really not fair to the player that's a good point um so i'm i'm much more concerned about that for the fans pay some fucking attention right damn right that's, that's where i'm at with that absolutely but it, it i understand the liability factor of it for the the team i understand the safety factor you you want people to feel safe with their families to come out right because they're all about selling fucking tickets and making money right and you know protect the players too absolutely uh then that was all i had but i heard jeremy had a very interesting statistic that he found over this I last week did uh yesterday was kind of a monumental day um so far in 2022 as of yesterday the Cincinnati Reds have finally won more games than the Cincinnati Bengals have in 2022. No shit. They won nice. their fifth game. The Bengals have won four <clears throat> really? in 2022. The Reds have won a total of five games <laughs> Woo! so far in 2022. Good for Up them. until Friday, the Reds had fewer wins oh. so far this year mm. after 25 games. <laughs> Than the Bengals had in five games. Poor, poor Joey Votto. So I'm thinking that the Bengals need to start playing baseball. Yeah, I think so. We've only won four more than that. Oh, the Cubs. Who, who's yeah, we? The Cubs. They've well, they got their first. I was going to uh, say I'm wearing Royals. I'm sitting here wearing Royals gear, but yeah. that is weird. Uh, that's weird that you were in my closet because I have that jersey. Too. That's the only one I have. Did you get it at Colts? No, I got it at Kaufman, and I got my Bo Jackson one, but I'm stadium too, too fat to wear it. No, or, or Andy Kaufman's Andy house. Kaufman's house. Okay, yeah, he was, was a big Royals fan. It was an estate sale. That's yeah. weird that he had that because that's way ahead of his time. They would have had the old pullovers back then when he died. I he, know, but he was an innovator. He knew. Andy, he sure was. He knew Andy Warhol. He was ahead of his time. Listen, if you didn't think he was hilarious, you don't know comedy. <laughs> right. I hate the fucking assholes who say that. He was a prick. <laughs> okay, uh, but anyways, that's all the sports that I have for <clears throat> this week. Um, and the only other thing I do got to compliment Derek's hat. He's got the Kansas City, Cit what is it, City Connect? Is City that? Connect, yeah, yes. It's a dope-ass fucking hat. That's why bro. I wear the Ro Royals thing. I was uh, like, I can't wear Cubs with a Royals hat. Nah, you so. can't. You got it, yeah. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, Self-explanatory. If you don't know what that is, you're, you're watching the wrong fucking show. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, we're going to start off with real shit or horse shit. I try to breathe quieter when walking up the stairs so people around me don't know how out of shape I am. Well, that's horseshit. What? No, I, I try to not stop halfway up the stairs to rest <laughs> so people don't know how to, out of shape I am. Okay. I'll walk around to find another escalator, and my wife's like, we only have one set of stairs in this house. <laughs> <laughs> we still have not gotten an escalator. No, that's, that's no we just have a non-working escalator. Is what we have. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, temporarily. That's my dream. <clears throat> temporarily stairs. Sorry for the convenience. Yeah, exactly. Who is that? Mitch, Mitch Hedberg. Hedberg. Okay, there you go. Ah, oh, love Mitch Hedberg. Uh, how about you, uh, Jeremy? Um, no, as a longtime fat guy, I can tell you that um, this just makes things worse. <laughs> <laughs> trying to hold your breath or trying to suppress it. No, you you breathe so that you're not completely out of breath right. by the time you get to the stairs. If you try to try to keep that shit down, it's just by the time you get to the stairs, you're going to be dying. Uh huh. Yeah. Stairs fucking suck. They do suck. I, for me, this is real shit because out of all of us here, I'm probably the one that's in the best shape out of everybody here. And uh, if I walk up the stairs a little too fast and, and I start, like, it, I can tell I'm out of shape. I'm like, son of a bitch. So I, I don't want to be that guy. I like to walk by people in wheelchairs and let them know they don't know how good they got it. Right. Absolutely. 
got so many codes to build houses and shit for those people. Never a stair ever. Never a stair. You can go as fast as you want. That's true. Uh, next one. I will say, I'm sorry, real shit or horse shit. I will say I'm sorry just to end the argument even when I'm not really sorry. Well, that's horse shit. I'm never wrong. That's right. Never We're, admit defeat. That's, yeah, that's correct. Uh, yeah, this is real shit for me. <clears throat> I, I don't want to go through the effort. My wife is much smarter than I am, and so mm-hmm. I will say I'm sorry so we can move on. And then she's going to pull this fucking argument out 10 years later to win another one. So that's mine. Jeremy? God, I wish I could say yes to this, but I'm a stubborn prick. It's <laughs> me too. I I have yeah. We've heard about you and your fucking picture of Tim <laughs> Maggard. That's <laughs> damn right. <laughs> and that it, is the hill I will continue to die yes, on. Yes, that's 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 the weird thing. If I know I am wrong, I will say it because at some point I will come to a conclusion. But if I believe that I am in the right, which is most of the time, I don't drop it. Mm-hmm. All right. But you, you're very, very intelligent and very right a lot as well. Goddamn right, Scotty. <laughs> I have almost an 85 IQ. That's impressive. Must be the Asperger's. Um, but yeah. What? It, nothing. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. When I am trying to find a specific location while driving, I turn down the radio. That's absolutely real shit. <laughs> I, I, I will do that. Why do we all do it? I don't know why I do it, It's but I do it. I, I do it, too. This is real shit. Every single time I'm looking for some place or I'm, or I'm getting instructions or to drive or whatever. I need to fucking concentrate. I, yeah, I feel like turning the fucking volume down makes me concentrate it's like, harder. It's like doing this when you're playing a video game, and then you're like, all right, hang yeah, on. Yeah, 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 get up. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Um, Yeah, I do it because, I mean, I constantly have a discussion in my head of, <clears throat> oh, is this where I need to go? No, that's not where you need to go. Is this where I need to go? And music just is like, I don't need a third party in there. I've already got two. Yeah. Interrupting your, your, thought, your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Uh, next one. When opening a birthday card, I pretend not to notice the money inside of it until I'm done reading what was written in the card. No, I shake that thing out. Then I read the card. <laughs> like if this, if I get a card... And I'm like, all right, let's see what we got here. Yeah. <laughs> and then I get the envelope, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yep. For sure. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. Yeah, this is real shit. <clears throat> every fucking time. It's like I get a I get a like a Christmas card from my grandmother every year and it is a fucking novel in this goddamn thing. Mm-hmm. She's like updating you with everything that's happened over our family and it's a big family. I do. I will read the entire fucking card and oh, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. Put that five dollar bill in your pocket. Yes, you did. <laughs> I just read that fucking novel. <laughs> yeah, I charge five dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, th- I still think you should edit it. Yeah. <laughs> Get out a red pen. And <laughs> you misspelled Director this. Correct sentence structure and all that. <laughs> you used the wrong two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't oh, think. yeah. <laughs> You're like, Actually, I guarantee you, your grandma does not make that mistake. <laughs> no. They were raised right. That's true. I don't think we all hope grandpa gets well soon. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck, that's uh, so fucked up. <laughs> so we'll just cross that out. I, I still th- I think it's so sweet. She's <laughs> I guess we don't use apostrophes in this family anymore. <laughs> <laughs> She's 94, and she still does. Apparently, somebody doesn't shit. know where a comma or a semicolon should be used. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? That's one of my newest bands, by the way, Quarter Colon. Nice. Uh, they're a nice. lot of fun. Oh, so sweet. Huh? How about you, um, <clears throat> Yeah, uh, of, of course I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's all I'm thinking about uh, is the money. I don't give a fuck what you wrote in my card. And chances are, most of, most of the people in my life just... Sign their name to it, so I'm reading what somebody else wrote, um, and and everybody does this, and I I don't know why we try to fool people anymore, uh-huh. because honestly, if you appreciate the card more than the money, you're a fucking jerk, because <laughs> I guarantee you that card didn't cost near as much as that money did. Right. I know what money costs. It's printed. They, they you can't take the price tag off money. Right. No matter what you do. Yeah. I have. Can I? Can I? Uh, Go into some highlights of a bit that I do on stage sometimes. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you don't do any um, bits on stage now. So I sure ahead. don't, because nobody will have me. Um, That's bullshit. Anyways, uh, 
no, I was at work at the vending machines one time and uh, getting very frustrated. The guy in front of me wouldn't go. And uh, like, like he was just standing there staring at the machine. And then I realized that he was putting his money in and it kept spitting it back out. And now I understand the frustration of it because I've been to Las Vegas where slot machines will take bills that most cashiers would refuse. And um, you could like put a hundred dollar bill through a confetti shredder and just throw it at the screen and it'll give you like 75 bucks credit. They don't care. You're, you're not leaving with it. But then he turns around to me and goes, Hey man, you got change for a two. <laughs> uh, what? You didn't have any half pennies or Confederate money, anything more obscure then why in the fuck would you think that it took two dollar bills and so i said you could try a card and he's like my card's maxed out i'm in a birthday card <laughs> that's the only way i've ever accepted a two dollar bill my grandparents every year for 28 years gave me a two dollar bill for for my birthday in a, in a birthday card and I was always like, oh, this is cool. These are like really rare and stuff. And then I was at the bank and I saw them with a whole stack of twos. And I'm like, mm -hmm. did they start printing twos again? Mm -hmm. Oh, they never stopped. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me my grandparents got away with giving their grandbaby boy $2 a fucking year. And I've still got every goddamn one that they ever <laughs> held on to. What the fuck? That's so my, my whole premise is that... Um, you know, if your credit cards are maxed out and you're spending your fucking birthday card money, maybe those Mike and Ikes are a luxury you can't afford, <laughs> dude. That's, uh, that's great. That guy fucking uh. stormed off, shook his leg out. <laughs> no, my whole thing was I like to be prepared when I go to the vending machine. I've got my, my money out of my wallet ready to go. I'm like a Boy Scout, which said like a boy scout i don't want any of this stolen valor bullshit all right <laughs> i i never claimed to be a boy scout right so obviously i did have change for it too <laughs> i can't say no i don't i'm that asshole that always tells somebody i don't have jumper cables when they're always in my trunk yeah i know mm. insane um, i i can't do it I like, you have jump, I, man. I do. I not. don't. I'm so I, sorry. Car trouble is uh, something <clears throat> I don't wish on my worst enemy. That's and my I, fucking I cannot, job. I cannot help but give somebody help if they're fucking having car trouble. That's just me. Uh, you're such a nice. I'm person. a good person. Yeah, you are. Hey, Jeremy, my car I, needs a transmission. You want to help me with? Can I borrow? You got change for two thousand two dollar bills? <laughs> I, sh I sure don't. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I only drive cars without transmission. Uh, electric, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I drive go-karts everywhere. <laughs> golf carts. <laughs> yeah, golf carts. Uh, next one. Real uh, shit or horse shit. During an argument with my wife, it is, what is okay. It with I know. What? You, you, a lot of shit about arguing with your wife here. <laughs> Maybe it's coincidental. Ha. Huh. No. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. During an argument, it is okay to tell your wife to calm down. Absolutely it is. Really? Ebs fucking lootly. Oh. Calm down. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just step back here. Oh. Listen to I'll tell you what. I want I'm gonna record this. I'm gonna play it back for you so you know how <laughs> stupid you fucking sound right now. <laughs> okay. She Ooh. they love that. That'll win you the argument mm -hmm. every time. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Uh yeah, this is this is not this is this is horseshit. Don't do it. Don't do it. it. The exact opposite of what you're asking them to do is what you're going to get. That's going to be a new result. They're going to get pissed more. Jeremy? Uh, I just learned to lead off <coughs> conversations with it. <laughs> She's like, where do you want to eat? All right, calm down. <laughs> Let's just keep calm, all right? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah don't do that. Uh, all it, right. It. it I know that there's an argument coming, so I'll just go ahead and start it with okay. that. Okay, that makes sense. That way I don't have to do it later. There you go. Uh, last one, real shit or horse shit. The best feeling in the world is automatically waking up, praying it's not 7 a.m., checking your phone, and finding out that it's only 3 a.m. Well, that's horse shit. What? Yeah, then I can't fall back asleep, and when I fall back asleep, it's 5 a.m., and then I got then I got to get up at 7 a.m. Oh, no. So we're shit in the world. No, this is some real shit. If I feel like it is 7 a.m. and I wake up automatically and roll over and check my phone and it's only 3, I feel like I get four more hours of sleep. That is amazing. Well, you I do love get it. four more hours well, of yeah, sleep. Oh, yeah, you do, but it, you, you, you're going to get more than what you expected. Jeremy? Yeah, as, uh, as a long-time insomniac now, 
if I wake up, I'm up, and that sucks for me. <laughs> oh, that does suck. I didn't even think I, about that. I could that. go take another fucking Lunesta, but then I ain't getting up on time for work. I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> or not Lunesta, Ambien. Ambien, yeah. turnovers for everybody. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> That's Guess right. what I made for breakfast. <laughs> the turnovers you made for me on our first Bastille day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I keep one in my shorts, and I walk by her in the bed and just shake it out. Yeah. What do you mean you don't like Colgate turnovers? <laughs> you want to kiss me? You're going to have to get some mint in there. Oh, uh, you don't want to kiss me? All right. Uh, no, you don't like my there. peroxide calzone? Mm, that's <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. All right, moving they're, on. They're disinfected. Yeah. They're sterile. Moving on. Now we get to move and on to a... <laughs> Ever From pop all the hair that's in them because <laughs> I use my manscape. <laughs> <laughs> now let's move on to a, a growing in popularity segment. This is bad advice with Jeremy, guys. If I feel have, like it's decreasing in popularity. <laughs> no, no, it's still great. Mm. Uh, but anyways, if you have anything that you would like to ask our best friend Jeremy. Uh, some advice and get the shittiest advice you could possibly get. Do send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Uh, you can do it on TikTok as well, but Instagram is better. Facebook as well. Uh, this week, we've got a bad advice from Brian Wayne Watkins, and he writes, Jeremy, I need advice. I coach middle school athletics. I go into coaching <coughs> football here at the beginning of next school year, and I need Jeremy's advice to know how to handle middle school kids. You ready for me? Let's go. All right. Uh, what was his asshole's name again? Uh, Brian Wayne Watkins. Boy, he is an asshole. Yeah. Um, Brian, Three names. here's... He, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, especially if the middle name is Wayne... <laughs> That's just fucking guaranteed. He's going to be a serial killer. Thank God he's around these kids. Um, yeah, my my whole thing is, number one, I'm going to give you a piece of very good advice to start off with. Cut every player named Scott. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you have a good team. Second of all, now we get into the bad advice. <laughs> get as many white players as you can. <laughs> That's how real winning teams are made. Fundamentals. That's what it's about. Uh, next, when it comes to practice time, water is the enemy. Don't bring out water. Four-day practices if you have to. A thirsty kid is a tough kid. That's where I'm at with that. Uh, let's see. Listen to the parents, okay? That's where it comes in. If they say their kids should be starting, they know their kid better than you do. Fucking start that kid. Uh, put them in whenever the parents say to. I mean, if they're yelling at you, clearly they're passionate about it. Get that kid in there. Um, <laughs> wear the tightest shorts you possibly can. Uh, we have a friend who could probably help you out with some of those. Uh, he comes on the show from time to time. He's a little busy this time of year, but he wears very, very tight shorts, and he looks like a coach. Um, and uh, last but not least, you want to form as tight of a bond as you can with these kids, and to me, there's no better way than that than to shower with your players. <laughs> At the end of every practice, at the hell at the beginning of practice too. <laughs> beginning, end of practice, same with the games. And um, yeah, that's that's a recipe for a winner. I saw that on Winning Time. So uh, that's my advice. <laughs> no water, all saltines. <laughs> a steady diet of saltines. To yeah. Oh god. Yeah, that salt actually keeps the water in them. <laughs> yeah. That's what they used to give them, like, in World War II when they didn't have readily available water. They'd give them salt pills. <laughs> wow. Because it would absorb the water and keep them from expelling it. Oh, jeez. It will keep them from dying. And then later on, they gave them salt, Peter. Yeah. They sure did. That that they didn't fuck getting, each other. Uh, yeah. No, that keeps yeah. from getting hard on. Good stuff. That's what I'm saying. They oh. couldn't fuck each other. Oh, couldn't <laughs> fuck each yeah. other. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, they still could. Fuck. What if you mix those two up? Honey, mm. this Viagra is terrible. <laughs> 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 I'm just walking around all mm. floppy. <laughs> But I taste great. <laughs> but Once that jizz like comes out, you're going to taste it. I taste like a cashew. Oh, <laughs> All right. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated again. If you have any suggestions for overrated, underrated, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines. Or you can actually mail them through the post office. Right. Steve won't deliver them, but you just mail them to 1111. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Rolling. Yeah, let's, let's not do this. Uh, but yeah. 
Uh, first one, overrated. Hmm. Sorry, overrated or underrated diets. <laughs> Underrated. Really? Absolutely. I was way happier when I was skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> and I could fuck good. <laughs> so, so that was nice. Yeah. yeah. It is amazing when you drop, say, 15 pounds, mm -hmm. how much better you are at that. Oh, really? Fan yeah. Oh, I didn't know I that. don't have to get behind her at that point. Yeah. I got enough power to stay on top. <laughs> I, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm not. Geez. I feel like I'm planking right now when mm -hmm. I'm on top. Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> fucking hands fall asleep because yeah. my wrists are bent backwards, uh, cutting off I, the circulation. I, I look like I'm planking and doing a trunk uh -huh. lift, like trying to hold my head up. Yeah, <laughs> like like I'm trying to fucking skydive in her puss. <laughs> <laughs> deep. That's what she means by deeper. <laughs> What are you doing? Base jumping. <laughs> oh, you got one of those squirrel suits? No, that's just my flabby arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, those fat guys come with built-in wingsuits. <laughs> that's fucking... Oh. That's fucking On the good crazy. side. When I'm she, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a giant memory foam mattress. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> she knows where all the lumps are. Yeah. Oh, she geez. lays her head on my stomach, and the impression's still there like two hours later. Uh, <sighs> all right. I'm going to go overrated as well. I, I, want to eat every, I want to eat food. Oh, we went underrated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh I'm, I'm saying overrated. Because when I'm not dieting, I walk around like a bloated fucking asshole, and it <laughs> sucks. I'm miserable all the time. I just can't keep from shoving food down my throat, so I have to <laughs> yep. abstain. Oh, Fine. I say it's overrated. <coughs> yeah, you skinny fuck. I fuck know. you. I want to eat everything. You can eat my ass. <laughs> Not that. I don't want to eat that at all. Well, you already said everything. Not that. Jeremy, get the spoon. Mm -hmm. nope. We can't all be 5'4 <laughs> and feminine, Scotty. Thanks, man. Uh, and I'm, I'm bigger than 5'4. Uh, yeah, we could pull a, like on seven, just force feed him full of spaghetti and then <laughs> kick him in the stomach. <laughs> okay. Just make him eat my ass and um, he can't get done until he's done with his rape right. seed. <laughs> Finish your rape seed after you eat my ass, Scotty. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Next one. Overrated or underrated? Red Lobster's Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Overrated. Really? All biscuits are overrated. They're dry. Oh, man. I don't like them. These are underrated as hell. They're delicious. And, as, and another thing about them is if you let them just sit out for like 10 to 15 minutes, Ugh. they are harder than rocks, and you can throw them at people. Underrated. That's not what a biscuit's for, Scotty. It could be. I don't know that I've ever been as surprised or maybe disappointed in anybody as I am with Derek right now. Right. Because they put that fucking butter oil on there, and yeah. and they've wised up, and they make you order food first before they bring them out. Sure they do. Uh, there was a time when you could go in there and get a nice, healthy meal, tell them you were just, uh, you know, I'm deciding still, just drink water and biscuits and then leave. <laughs> uh, the prison diet. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Here's five start, bucks. Start lift doing curls yeah. of, of fucking plateware. Fun fact about those things as well. One of those goddamn things, like 900 calories as well, if you're on a diet. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I am, so I don't, pardon me, I don't eat them uh, currently, but they have a, an, a make, make them at your own yeah, home yeah, yeah. kit mm -hmm. that tastes just like the fucking restaurant. Really? They're just as good. My wife makes them when I'm not dieting. A lot, and they are just as good. Fucking hey, all right. Cheddar Bay biscuits. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to sail to the Cheddar Bay. That's right outside of Delaware. Oh, okay, mm. well, good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, next one, uh, overrated or underrated? Yoga pant camel toes. Uh, this is. I'm gonna go overrated. Okay, because there's some toes I don't want to see. Damn it! There are some toes. I there's a lot of chubby camels yeah. out there. There's yeah. some fucking meat wings that I have no desire. To, I don't. I don't want to know what's in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you say fucking meat wings? Yeah. There's a lot of pussies with hair lips. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it clits as big as fucking Dumbo's trunk. <laughs> it feel like you put a feather underneath it. It's gonna fly away. No thanks. Yeah. There, I don't know that this is so much about 
Camel toes, as much as there's a lot of women wearing yoga pants who shouldn't be wearing yoga <laughs> pants. Absolutely. That's 100%. Just because they will stretch over you doesn't mean they should. I like to wear baggy clothes because I'm a fat fuck, and I know I'm a fat fuck. Mm -hmm. You don't see me walking around in a fucking muscle tee. <laughs> you should try it. I have, okay. and nobody likes it, uh, including me. Uh, I agree with uh, Derek and Jeremy on this. This is overrated as fuck because some people shouldn't be wearing them. Uh all right, next one, overrated or underrated, having to change your password every three months. Overrated on that, too. Most people just add an exclamation point. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that is all it is. I, okay, overrated. Puss Blaster 2. <laughs> all right. <laughs> This is so overrated. If I got to <laughs> change my goddamn password three times in, in like six months, get fucked. Just take my shit. I don't care enough. But one password's enough, and this absolutely drives me fucking nuts. This is overrated. Jeremy? I used to beg for people to steal my identity when I was in my 20s. <laughs> I couldn't wait for them to hit that last keystroke on the computer, and suddenly the fucking collection calls start coming in there. <laughs> their house but I've, I've cleaned up and uh you know now i don't i don't want people to steal my identity i actually give a fuck about my finances however i have a password that nobody's gonna fucking figure out i don't at work they make us change our password every six months and Jeez. this is weird how long i've been uh at at my work you can't use one that you've used in the last 10 times and i'm back to the point where now i can start using <laughs> passwords again and and i've gone through most of my passwords twice now nice so that's fucking weird but um i never thought i'd hold a job for that long there you go and after this shit business i don't know <laughs> how much longer till they pin that on me it's a fucking i'm a patsy in all this that's what it is i'm the lee harvey oswald of this they're fucking framing me i wonder what his password there's a second is. shitter on the grassy knoll <laughs> that's what i was getting ready to say <laughs> Some, you guys were getting ready to say what? Some guy with a That's turd cannon. getting ready to say. Uh -oh. <laughs> there are grassy knolls where I work. Oh, <laughs> That's crazy. more weeds. There's a guy down there hiding, just eating Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. waiting. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Liz Moss. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last one. Overrated or underrated, drawing penises on your friend's face after they passed out. Overrated. I'm more of a tracing guy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Haven't yeah. we done this before or something like it? No, no. I know we've talked about this we have. before. We have. Uh, this is overrated. I, if that guy's passed out, I guess I guess if he's got his shoes on, he's fair game. But if he's got his shoes off, you got to leave him alone. That's the rule. But overrated. Do something else to him. Jeremy? Again, showing my age here, I'm at the point where if you're to the point where you're about to pass out, you got to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm driving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it, it's it's one of those things. If you go to somebody's house and you get this drunk to where you're about to pass out, because nobody just passes out. There's usually a lot of uh, losing your balance, falling over, breaking shit, mm -hmm. throwing up that comes with it. You're fucking rude, <laughs> you prick. You are. Get out of my fucking house. Yep. And you're <clears throat> not coming back. Mm -hmm. Scotty. Yeah. Thanks. All right, that is overrated or underrated. Uh, again, if you got any suggestions for that or our next segment, which is questions or, or preguntas, you can send them to us at laughing on the sidelines at Instagram. So check that out. Uh, we're going to go to first question. Do, 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 where is it at? There it is. It's on right. paper, Scotty. Shut up. I'm looking for Good it. Lord. All right, first question. What would the worst thing about you for your dating app bio be? Can only fuck laying down. Nice. <laughs> or behind. Or wearing a wind wingsuit? <laughs> wingsuit? No. No? Okay. No. Um let's see. Mine, uh, this is dumb. But I got I got children locked up in my basement, so they have to be included in our relationship. <clears throat> That's fucking weird, Scotty. I know, right? Sure is. How about you, Jeremy? You make a great junior high coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about you? Uh I have very, very clearly defined stretch marks on my thighs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Those are probably really fun. And that would be my profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have very well-shaven balls, but like very hairy inner thighs. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just go that. I wouldn't get the dick in there, just the thighs and crotch area. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. 
All right, next question. Kirby just swallowed you. What ability did he get? Type 2 diabetes. Nice. Hell fucking yeah. Uh, I can no longer have sugar. No. Uh, I put, uh, you got the ability to annoy everyone. Hmm, That's a good one. Yep, that's it. Jeremy? The ability to fuck with three quarters of an erection. (laughs) (laughs) Go into detail about this, Jeremy. I thought I did pretty well there. <laughs> no, you're right. You did. You did great. Like, yes, have, I did. <laughs> Jer- do you have change for a full erection? <laughs> oh, yeah. Three quarters. <laughs> That's 75 cents of an erection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you take a quarter of that, you put it in your shopping cart at Aldi's. <laughs> you get stuck. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Next question. This... This is a fan's question. This is from Gage Mason. He wants to know rejected names for a baby pacifier. Rubber Dicky. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just put a baby silencer is all I put. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, Blowjob trainer. (laughs) Oh, really? Start them young. Yeah. Absolutely. They got different shapes now for that thing? They're pretty... Pretty phallic shaped as it is. <laughs> they? Phallic enough. I mean, it's a baby. Come on, Scotty. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> but one day they're going to need cigarette money. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Next one. Hmm. This is from another fan. This is uh, Overall Cap. He wants to know disturbing things you would find in Mary Poppins' bag. A giant plastic container and a shitload of lye. Oh, yeah. Somebody's dying. That was the point there, Scotty. Yeah. Yes, yes. That uh, yeah. I, some people don't know what lie is. No, Scotty. they're somebody's dead. Yeah, Scotty. Yeah. Somebody's not, <laughs> not somebody's dying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Lie is something that you put on a dead body before you bury it to uh, in, speed up the uh, decaying process without uh, making it stink. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> I saw it on a movie once. Yeah. Uh, I went with the samurai sword. I think uh, I think that's pretty dangerous, mm-hmm. especially for Mary Poppins. I hear she's kind of old now. Jeremy. A uh, uh, half-empty Tommy gun. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe like one of those bank bags full of money. Yeah. Fuck I like yeah. to think she knocks over banks on her weekends. You bet. All right. Last question. This is another fan question. This is from oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I didn't I even come up with one for this. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, last question is from Noah Olson. Uh, he wants to know, blank, be a man. I've got mine. Go. Uh, tell your wife to calm down. Be a man. S- fucking scratch your nuts and sniff your fingers. Be a man. I got a whole bunch of these. Derek. Uh, jerk off and go get your palm red. <laughs> be a man. <laughs> okay. i will be very disappointed if they don't see kids in my future. Yeah, right. Oh, God. Uh, are, are you still thinking or you got one? Uh, I'm still okay. still mostly thinking. I got a, I got um, a quick story. to have Go, you, go ahead. I think. like stories. Okay, I'm yeah. not going to listen to a word of it, but I, go ahead. Okay, no problem. I found a, I got a video that I saw today. When you said read palm reading, mm-hmm. all right, I, I saw like the crystal ball people, one of those uh, like tarot reading or, yeah. or whatever. So one person went out and actually bought a crystal ball, and they tell you whenever you get a crystal ball, make sure it's always covered. And the gal that bought it is like, oh, yeah, for like, like, like spirits, keep bad spirits away. And what she ended up doing was she left it outside on her table. And that crystal ball magnified the sun and burnt the shit out of her fucking table. I don't doubt that. It caught it the fuck on fire. Yeah. <laughs> like, I never even thought of that shit. You know, they're uh, yeah. full of shit, by the way. That ball ain't crystal. That's I just know. glass. It's just glass. It's uh, named crystal. Yeah. It's, sure it is. Yeah. It's, it's been rode hard and put away wet. <laughs> it sure has. Right. That's her ball. <laughs> it's <laughs> a Benoit ball. Mm-hmm. Right. She's got a big giner. Yep. All right, Jeremy. Blank. Be a man. Light the bottle rocket in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> that Hell bottle part is just a fucking suggestion. That's somebody <laughs> else's opinion. Light that fucker in your hand. <laughs> That's, I like Play that Russian one. roulette with a Roman candle. <laughs> yes. Fourth of July, just around mm-hmm. the corner. That's right. 
All right, guys. Well, now we get to move on. What well, fucking well, month are you living in? It's I, I, May. I know, but then June and then July. Yeah, I get how calendars work. Right. We're a ways from it. Absolutely. We're still in springtime, Dick. No, oh, fuck. It's, it's hotter than shit outside. It I, sure is. God. After being cold as fuck all last week and raining like a motherfucker, basement stayed dry, by the way. Congratulations. By that, I'm talking about my crotch. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, now we're going to move on uh, to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Yeah. Yeah, we got a, we got a good one. I, I, I did not win. Derek did not win last week. Yeah, because I wouldn't hear. Yeah, but you would have lost if you would have been here. No, I'm fat. I'm an expert. <laughs> no, uh, but I got second. Jeremy got first, so he gets the championship picks this week. And I'm not 100% sure that we hadn't done that draft before. No, we have not. Are you sure? I'm positive. All right. Well, I am positive. I mean, I'm still the champion. Whatever. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's I'm true. just a natural born winner. That's true. That's- uh, so this week's draft is going to be our favorite. Well, hold on. And, and this is all because of Mother's Day. Mother, Mother's Mo- Day was just a couple just days Just a couple ago. days ago. So happy Mother's Day. So for that, uh, this week's draft is going to be our favorite TV dads. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Mom. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, we can see uh, any cartoon, any TV show, your favorite character that is a dad. Derek, you get first pick. My what? My favorite TV dad of all time. Okay. Al Bundy. Okay. All right. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Love Al Bundy. Okay. Mm. All right. I got to be very strategic here. So I am going to go with Peter Griffin. Mm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Peter, yeah. Jeremy, you get two. Well, I'm going with the other one then, Homer Simpson. Okay. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Frank Costanza. <clears throat> Ooh. Which one is that from? Seinfeld. Oh, yeah. George's okay. dad. Okay, okay. I Then my plan is in full effect. Nobody gives a fuck about your plan. You're going to lose. Yes. No. Nobody likes you. He is probably the most underrated TV dad of all time. His name is Carl Winslow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, baby. Fucking worst. You could have got him last. I don't think so. And our dipshit fans are going to vote for you. They are. They are. Derek, you get two. I am going to go with Randy Marsh. Okay. Mm. Mm. Like that one. Okay. And Walter White. Okay. He was a good dad. Great dad. <laughs> I don't know who Walter White is. The dad from Breaking Bad. He's Heisenberg. <laughs> oh, I do know who Walter yeah, White fucking is. Now. Heisenberg. Yeah, fuck. Damn it. That is a good one. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I am also going to. Uh, Damn it! I don't know if I should take this yet, because I, 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 I think I'd probably be around for a while. Uh, I'm, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with Tim Toolman Taylor. Tim Allen, but it's Tim Taylor. Okay, Jeremy, you get two. Uh, I am going to go with Tony Soprano. Okay. And I got so many here. I know. Don't pick mine. I I can guarantee you that's not going to happen. No, you might. No, that's not going to happen. Um. Mm, fuck it. Uh, Mike Brady. Okay. All right. Fuck yeah. Get that one off nobody's list. Whatever, Carl Winslow. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get fuck off. Oh, but he is technically a dad, so I am going to take uh, Philip Banks, baby, fresh Prince of Bel Air. Even though he's not Will's dad. Yeah, we he's get it. Carlton's we, we've seen dad. the fucking show. You get yeah. Philip Banks from the new Bel Air. 
No. Yeah, that's who you get. No, I don't. I want the old one. I don't even watch this new one. Fuck this new one. Okay. Derek, you get the last two, your last two picks. All right. I'm going to go with uh, Bob Belcher. Okay. From Bob's Burgers. I don't know why I don't watch that show more I, often. I know. I, it's very fucking funny. It's got great comedians in it. Okay. And rest in peace, Danny Tanner. Yeah, that was the other one I was hoping would come back. Pusher. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I do. This is why we, we bust out our phones for this one. I am going to go with Ned Stark. Who's that? Game, Game of, Thrones. of Thrones. Oh. Never he, yeah, that. he did a great job. He did. Most of one, his family's fucking dead. They <laughs> are, and so is he. You know, they got that new series coming out. No. Like a prequel to it. Uh, God damn it, something dragon. Really? Yeah. No, I haven't. I have not seen well, this. it's coming on, Scotty. Fuck, You're welcome. yeah. I'm getting pumped. I got two new se- like TV shows I'm pumped for. This one and then the, the Lord of the Rings yeah, shit. Yeah, that's not till September, but I think this uh, Lord of the Rings one is in uh, July. Oh, Lord of the Rings. Right yeah. around the corner, according yeah. to you, Scotty. Yeah. Really close. Really, really close. Very close. All right. That's, uh, that's my pick. Jeremy, your last pick. Phil Dumphy. I don't know okay. who that is. Modern Family. Okay. I forgot one. Yeah? Yeah. Who did you forget? Uh, Chris Rock's dad, Julius, Terry Crews from Everybody Hates Chris. That's true. That guy was fucking great. (laughs) As an actor, he's just great. I like him as the dad on Pootie Tang. I fucking love him in everything. Terry Crews is fantastic. Yeah, he is. Um, Big son. He's hilarious, man. Nobody would have known who this is, but, I mean, seriously, he is one of my favorites, which is Floyd Henderson from Smart Guy. I like that. I like that guy. Okay. He was awesome. I loved uh, that show. Willie Tanner from ALF. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Dan Connor from Roseanne. Nobody, yeah, he was good. Nobody, I like him. Nobody picked, uh, like, the Munsters people. Nobody well, there's just one. Show, well, I guess there's two. There's technically Herman and yeah. then Grandpa. Grandpa. Which I don't know that anybody knows what Grandpa's name is. That's a good point. I don't. Um, and then you got yeah. uh, you, Cliff uh, Huxtable, Adams Adams family, yeah, uh, Gomez. Gomez. Mm-hmm. Kind of shocked, but uh, yeah, those are our picks for our favorite uh, TV dads. What about Jor El? Who? Superman's dad? No, oh, no, no. That was a bad person. Really bad. He was? Person. Yeah. I don't think he was. I don't know. I, I have never seen I, it. I think he was all right. Okay, whatever. He seemed all right to me, man. <laughs> Fine, Jeremy. Jeez. He's like a pretty stand-up yeah, yeah. dude. Okay. He sure did. All right. More than just stand-up. He flew. Yeah, he's a fly-up guy. Mm-hmm. Never had a zipper down? Nothing. Never. Why did Because he wore his underpants. Why did nobody pick, like, McMurray or some shit like that? He's not a dad. He's not technically. I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider him a TV dad. Okay, that's fair enough. Because but, uh, that's his sister. Right? No, it's his daughter. It's Bonnie's his, do- his daughter. Bonnie, Bonnie. Bonnie's sister. No. Uh-uh. Pretty sure. I don't know. Whatever. Letter Kenny characters. <sighs> Surprised we didn't pick I'm any up. to fuck both you yep. up. Anyways, uh, so now, uh, oh, yeah, you can go to Facebook.com on Wednesday. I've uh, been trying to get it out as early in the morning as I possibly can, where you can vote for your favorite list of TV dads by using the corresponding emoji. <clears throat> Whoever wins gets championship picks next week, and that's about it. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. I'm going to go with a, a pretty well-known one today. Uh, March 27th, 1980 in Skamania County, Washington. Uh, volcanic e- explosions and pyroclastic flows began spewing from Mount St. Helens. Um, with a volcanic explosivity index of five, it was declared the most disastrous eruption of a volcano in the con- history of the contiguous United States. To give you an idea of just how violent this blow was, my parents still have a small container of volcanic ash that they collected off of their car in south central Kansas. <laughs> oh, shit. From the Mount St. Helens eruption. It got that high up in the atmosphere and 
and fucking blew over the Rocky Mountains. Um, despite having a warning of over two months uh, of of, uh, eru- or of uh, earthquakes and, uh, you know, basically different activities that let people know this fucker's about to blow, 57 people still uh, died in this eruption, including Harry R. Truman. Not Harry S., not the former president, which I'll, uh, I'll give you guys all the change in my cup holder if you could tell me what the S stands for in Harry S. Truman. <laughs> Scott! Nope. Sorry. Okay. Stands for S. He didn't have a middle name, but he thought a president <laughs> should have a middle initial. Um, that is true, actually. Uh, let's see. Um, anyway, Harry R. Truman was an, a guy who owned a uh, an inn on the side of Mount St. Helens who, despite being told repeatedly to evacuate, refused because he believed that he lived on the mountain so long it would never kill him. It did. <laughs> And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, get the fuck off the mountain. (laughs) (laughs) Harry? Jesus. (laughs) Harry! (laughs) He went on to start that razor company, I think. Yeah. I'll be damned. Yeah, him and his buddy Lloyd Mm -hmm. were just sitting on the mountain. Yeah. Totally. What a coincidence. He was a World War I veteran. And then to be named Harry Truman <laughs> later on as a patriot, a proud patriot, yeah, who dropped the bombs, yeah, on Japan. Fuck those fuckers, right? <laughs> yeah, they were asking. Anyways, for it. this week's shitty situation is, yeah, would you rather? <laughs> God damn it! You are a new cop. You are coming into a new occupation that has to deal with cops. Would you rather? You're right out of the academy. Right, right out of the academy. academy yeah. Would you rather You're top in your class? Right. Would you rather be the part be ass- oh, assigned sorry, to be assigned to the fecal crimes unit, or which it turns out fecal crimes are a thing? <laughs> 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 or would you rather have to stake out a Sherwin Williams? The paint place. Yeah, the paint store. <laughs> yeah. On a wild goose chase. Yeah. <laughs> but you've gotten a hot tip that shit's going down at Sherwin-Williams. <laughs> yeah. There's a big paint fraud scheme. Mm-hmm. Maybe you'll run into the, the fecal crimes unit. They're calling it white when it's clearly eggshell. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That is cream at best. <laughs> is he stealing those swatches? <laughs> Oh, oh shit! I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be the fecal crimes detective. Oh god, you would. I w- man, there. I to hear a story like we heard <laughs> at the beginning of this show every day. It'd be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, every would. day. So, what's your theory on what happened here? Well, let me tell you, Bob. <laughs> I, I'm going undercover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You give me my shit and slacks. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> this bar is known to be frequented by fecal criminals. <laughs> it's called the outhouse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. It's a real shit storm in there. <laughs> I don't take shit off anybody. Let's <laughs> be going forever. <laughs> Three fully grown adults <laughs> la- laughing about shit jokes. And the worst you're ever going to do is write a ticket. <laughs> no <Yeah. shit. laughs> Nobody's going to jail for shit crimes. What are you in for? <laughs> I don't, a I, poop. A poop. <laughs> you never know, Jeremy. <laughs> a poop. <laughs> you could get yourself a serial shitter. <laughs> I'm a repeat offender. <laughs> <laughs> See why I'm going to the fecal uh, crowd deal? Not to, don't even worry about it. I am right behind you. There wouldn't be a You don't boring... want to be behind anybody in the fecal crowd deal. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You, you got to stay a step ahead of everybody. <laughs> there would not be a... And watch that step. There, yeah. There would not <laughs> be a dull day at your job. Just the being able to go mm-hmm. back and watch the video evidence of the guy taking a shit while he's walking and shake it out of his short leg. This would be fucking hilarious. I'm totally going that. Jeremy? Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to. <laughs> this is this is, is really... I, I know I haven't shown it too well on this episode, but I'm pretty good at, at keeping a serious face <laughs> at things, and I'd be that guy who really just 
fucking took it hardcore. <laughs> I would have a, a suit and a trench coat and galoshes. Oh, God. So I didn't step in anything. Uh. Jeez. And I would just really fucking question everybody. Very suspicious. Just, just hardcore. Everybody. Hardcore so, interrogating. So where were you? <laughs> so let me get this straight. <laughs> what did you need? What did you eat on the night of October 13th? <laughs> you say you didn't have corn. <laughs> but clearly we have a receipt from Kentucky Fried Chicken <laughs> where they sell corn on the cob. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Who is with you? Who can vouch for your whereabouts? Uh, we have your phone records. <laughs> oh my goodness! Turns out you. We checked your credit card statements. You haven't bought toilet paper in four years. <laughs> Don't tell me you pay cash. Oh, fuck. Nobody pays cash. Oh, Jesus Got Christ. Empty bottle of Miralax in <laughs> your glove box. <laughs> well, the shit was a little too solid for that Miralax. <laughs> <laughs> what if that's... We know he didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. he, he drank a whole bottle of Mir Miralax. There's no way it'd be that solid. Uh, exactly. Oh, my goodness. Then it's, What's that? <laughs> Boss, we got something down on Main Street. I think you're going to need to see this. <laughs> Pick it up with your pen. <laughs> <laughs> and do the the uh, C <laughs> CSI <laughs> CSI Miami thing with uh, David Caruso, <laughs> where you make the little joke about it. Yeah, <laughs> looks like this crime's getting a little stopped up. <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> and the fucking Who song kicks in. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Anymore, oh, yeah. everything Anymore. seems to add up, but. Something just doesn't smell right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Who are you? His alibi doesn't pass the sniff test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gonna keep tagging it because I don't something's, care. Something's going on here, and I can tell you this much: it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus yeah, Christ! I want this to happen. <laughs> I want to. I never wanted to be a cop so much in my life. I'd be one of those two, the like Nick Nolte type with the fucking flask. Yeah, we got another poop <laughs> <laughs> down in the red light district. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it! I'm hungover. God, Jesus. Well, I guess we can consider this crime flushed. Yeah. <laughs> fucking shit! You drive, goddamn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ah. Uh. Yeah, this could go on forever. It sure could. In yeah. fact, I say this is all we do with that live show. <laughs> Just talk shit, police. <laughs> oh, great. All right. Do well, uh, we have any shows coming up for anybody? Poopos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Derek? <laughs> no. No? no. You, got, you got this baseball thing going on. Yeah, I mean, it's almost impossible for me to do shows right now. Yeah, pretty it much. sure is. Whew. How about you, Jeremy? Is it really Speaking of KFC, uh, my new band, Oyster Claw, is going to be... Uh, <laughs> they're going to be playing at the uh, new grand opening of a KFC, and I have no idea where it's at. All right. Good <laughs> they stuff. They don't either. They're just going to have to play real loud. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, mm -hmm. guys, thank you so very, very much. I know we have a whole bunch of new listeners, so... Sorry for this shitty episode. Uh, but anyways... We're uh, going to have more detail, by the way, on that live show probably next episode. Uh, yeah. As we'll far as dates and uh, yeah. ticket sales, things like that. Yeah. In yeah. fact, we're not leaving here tonight until we get this all sorted out, fellas. Oh, you're full of shit. Uh, but I'm yeah. not leaving. You can't fucking move me. <laughs> you're right. I can't. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for all the positive, um, you know, positive things being said about yes. that live show. We sincerely do appreciate it. I, I, they may all be full of shit and they're not coming in from all the places that they are, but I hope they do. Yeah. And, uh, it's still really nice to hear. Yeah, it is. And thank you guys so very much for helping the show grow, uh, by sharing, um, anything that you see commenting that helps out a lot as well. <laughs> All of the TikToks that have been sharing, we, we really do appreciate all of that. Thank you guys so very much. And as we always say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, may all your glory holes be garbage disposals. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, take a bite out of crime. <laughs> until next time, <laughs> keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care.
the fecal crimes unit has 